Eh, whatever. Um, camera's not, my video and webcam's not working. Oh, well, doesn't matter. You're not missing much. <laughs> At all. Uh, what I'm doing now is riding the train. I have here, we're picking up our aluminum ingots that we just did on the last. Where did, where'd that come from? Uh, on the last video, we set up aluminum ingots. I think we're full. Nope. You're going to be loading some on. Got some. See it down there in the dark, unfortunately. We're going to pick that up. And then we're off to Caterium. Which I don't think we need, but that's all right. Load this aluminum ingots. Here we go. And uh, there's still... So I've got f four trains? Five trains. we got our quartz train. Picking up quartz, taking it over here to the aluminum so we can make ingots. We have our mall too, which is just doing plastic. We have coal to aluminum ingots. It's doing what it says. Uh, our phase three train, which needs to be renamed to phase four. Picking up supplies, taking over to our phase factory, and then our main train mall, which is the one that we're currently riding. I just wanted to follow it because I'm trying to get all of my train track blocks set up. And if you're going to do trains in your build, it's totally up to you. This is your game. You play it however you want to play it. If you don't want to use trains at all, cool. Uh, if you want to belt everything, I've seen people doing a main bus system with multiple belts going crazy. Knock yourself out. Uh, if you just want to belt materials across the whole map, it is totally fine and acceptable to do that. You do you. Nobody's going to be throwing shade. At least I won't at you for uh, doing playing the game how you want to play it. I, I like the trains because um, it's something fun to do, exercise my brain, figure out pathing and routes and all these various things. Um, logistics. Um, but also it, it lets me bulk load, if I can say that. <clears throat> it's fun, you know, setting up stops and, and doing all this stuff. It's just fun. So the bulk loads, the reason I'm riding the train is I was at the mall setting up the unload station for aluminum ingots. Uh, and I realized that the iron ingots was empty. So I'm like, well, there's something wrong with the ingot creation, you know, the ingot factory where we're taking the iron ore and making the iron ingots. Is it, I may have to expand that if we're not able to fill and keep the, the mall loaded with iron ingots. Am I using it that fast? And I, I very well could be. Now that we have dimensional depots set up and I can't, you can't get into your inventory when you're writing things. Now that we have the dimensional depot set up, I can get out to automatically deliver us things. Uh, we're and then we can just go build as fast as we want. I am using a lot of iron plates to build out these floor panels. Each one of these takes 32 iron plates. And you can see I can only build, or uh, my Dimensional Depot can only hold 800 of them in the center there. It gives you some statistics. And so every time I stamp these, well, this is fine, but if I'm going through here and stamping down a bunch of, a bunch more floor, which I have been doing, because <laughs> uh, I'm expanding, the, the factory must grow, uh, you know, you're... You're going through your plates. You're going through your concrete, both of which are being air quoting air imported into the mall. 
from our our factory uh, via train and so yeah there's definitely the possibility for hey you need to go check this out and make sure that you're creating enough as you use it you know what i mean um i think we should be good let's head back let's tube back hyper tube back to the main mall i got this new smartwatch i got the amaze fit bip 5 like a hundred dollars at walmart and uh because i've been walking i'm trying to get uh in better shape a little bit so i'm just starting to walk a couple miles a day and uh that's a whole other discussion i got the smartwatch to help me track my sleep and track my steps and the calories and intake and outtake and it's been a blast absolute blast uh checking out all the different watch faces and getting it set up to how i want to use it i wake up multiple times throughout the night it's just how i do and for some reason i have always wanted to know what what time is it when i'm awake and uh my current i got the google 9 pro fold it doesn't have as far as i can tell it doesn't have the um always on like my galaxy note whatever it was 24 22 21 i don't know if i had that phone um that was nice because it was always it had the always on and i could have my analog clock on the display sitting on my bedside table whilst i slumber and then in the middle of the night i could just look over and see what time it was well now uh the the google fold as far as i can tell doesn't have an always on front screen uh and so it's broken my cycle of when I wake up, I should be, I want to be able to just see what time it is for my own knowledge. Oh, we beat the train here. Wait a minute. There it is. It's coming in. All right. So we got aluminum ignit. So anyway, I got the, the smartwatch and it's really nice because you just wear it all the time and it'll track your uh, sleep cycles until if you get enough REM sleep. I got a score of 98 last night. So that was nice. What am I doing? Uh, I'm trying to get under here to this buffer chest to see if it unloads into it. Should. Got it coming down. What? Why you not unload? Come on. There it is. It's just taking its time. All right. So it should have unloaded that. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a... I'm having a lot of fun with the different watch faces and so on and so forth. Okay, we can see the ingots coming. They're going to go into our bucket, our buffer chest. There they are, they're flickering. They're, com they're going out just as fast as they're coming in. And they should be all going now along with the concrete. Up into... Places it's got to go. So now if we come in here and look, we got concrete. It's going upstairs. It's coming back down. And we have our dimensional depot uploaders giving me the stuff I need to have. This one's still empty. I haven't put anything back in that one. Um, but we do. I do have some computers. Let's go pick up another stack or two of those. Got quite a few because, well, I don't need that many. 100 should be fine. Uh, and you burn through them pretty fast putting up the train signals, the path and the blocks for your train signals so that you prevent crashes. Um, you got to have them. Okay, so now we have ingots of flowing in. Let's go down. Not that down. Down one. We're gonna go down one to our main unload section and we should have here we are aluminum ingots coming in hot and heavy so now that we have them 
Uh, let's build out our process in our mall for radio control units. And let's put it on its own floor for funsies. And we'll use our thing to go up and see which one's available. I don't even know what this is. What was I setting up here? Rods. We'll leave rods. Uh, that's fine. Something tells me that's not what that was supposed to be for, but uh, here we go. Uh, we're making wires. That was another thing I was setting up. <laughs> we're making copper sheets. Uh, let's just do this one. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we can make our aluminum casings. We'll bring the aluminum up, make our casings. And then I think we need an assembler. Let's take this. Push it out a bit. And then we're going to... Always give yourself some room. There's there's really no reason in this game to... Unless you're, you know, punishment for pain, to smash everything. And that's some people's game. They love to try and fit, you know, get it as efficient and compact as possible. That's their little puzzles, their Tetris in their brains to try and get all of this stuff as compact as possible. Uh, that is not me. I don't, I don't care. I've got all this space in the game. Let's just spread out. Let's use a little bit of it. What am I looking for? I am looking for... Is it under manufacturer? Ah. All right. I know where there are some. We're just going to go grab some more of these um, frames. Let's just. No, it's just right here. There's no reason to go clear across back and forth. Um. Control units. We're in here because I, I'm pretty sure I s there is a way to get a bunch of frames. Here they are. Clear down here. Uh, it's not backed up. Modular frames are going into heavy frames. Yeah, oh, making enough. We got heavy frames. And we got motors backed up. Making a ton of those. Modular engines. I've just been taking these because I don't have a need to have them a lot right now. So I've just been dumping the modular engines into our dump box. And this should get us uh, some tickets because it's going into the sink. Ticket money. All right, we're gonna have to go make some modular. I think they have some back in a storage box. Let's just go grab some of those. But I'm gonna have to set up a spot in the mall for frames because we're using we're using them a lot now. Apparently, they keep running out. Uh, while we're waiting on that, so you can hit N and then we can do. Radio control units. I keep forgetting about this. It's a search. Radio control unit takes. Oh, yeah, we're going to have to build this all out. So, we're going to need computers, crystal oscillators, and aluminum. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need. Yeah, stuff. Uh, one of these chests has some in it. There we go. Uh, machinery, coal power, this one should take us to the mall. So we're going to have a big process up here. I don't know if I'm going to like this at all. Let's go into satisfactory tools. Let's change our, let's do 10. And then we're going to go change our product. You can't see this. Change our LNLPQR. 
Radio controlled unit. Ten a minute. That's way overkill. I'm going to change my input items. Uh, set the zero. No. Set the map limit. <laughs> this is nuts. Uh, we well we don't need any of the crudes other than. Let's just do that. Um, we have an all clad. We have our. I need to add my aluminum ingots to that. And let's do 780. Now we'll go back to products and see what it shows. I can't. Uh, do I need crude oil? Oh. Map limit. Fine. Uh, and then we go back to production. Okay, so we need... 320 plastic. Here, let me just show you what I'm doing. Let me just show you so you're not ticked off at me. Let's kill that. Let's play that. There we go. So you put in here, uh, I want to make a radio control unit. I want to make 10 a minute. That might be a little much. Let's just do one a minute and see what we come up with. Okay, this is a little bit better. Uh, I don't know what... The radio control unit. Let's go back into the game. Hit radio control unit. It should tell you how long it takes. So we can make 2.5 per minute. Let's go off of that. So now when we come in here to our visualization, we can do 2.5. Said we can do 2.5 and enter and it should recalculate all of the math. Okay, so we need in order to make just the basic 2.5 a minute. We're going to need aluminum casings, which takes aluminum input into one constructor. Uh, we need to make take our raw quartz. We need one constructor for that. It doesn't look like it's crazy, 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 crazy stuff. Two, con two and a half constructors. Uh, iron ingot input. We're going to change that. Ah, we might as well keep it because we need the iron plates and the iron ingots anyway. That's fine. That's not a lot. So this, this maps it out and it almost sets it down as like, hey, here's, here's what you need. You can even check out, here's the power consumption for all of this new build is 238 megawatts. Uh, we can look at the items. It's going to tell us how much we need per thing. And I know it's really small. There's buildings. We're going to need three assemblers, 12 constructors, and four manufacturers. Uh, we have we have all of this to build it. So I usually just go off the visualization and kind of build it as it looks. Um, that tells me what we need to do. And sometimes I'll build it backwards. Let's start... Let's do that. Well, let's build this backwards um, just to make sure it's all going to fit. And by backwards, what I mean is I start with the end process. So we're going to have one thing out here. And I think <clears throat> do I want to put these in a dimensional depot. We'll give ourselves some space. Uh, we're going to need a manufacturer. Let's flip it this way. Okay, we got our manufacturer. We're gonna set this to our radio control unit. That's our output. Okay, and we need to feed it these things. Not a problem, because our thing tells us what we need to do. We need a computer. We need a manufacturer for. Let's do it this way. We'll put a manufacturer. Flip it so the output goes into the other way. 
and we'll stick another one right beside it. And then this one can be our computer and this one can be our crystal oscillator just for funsies. See, then all we got to do is come in here and we just got to. That's going to go in there and. Let's have this one go out so it's not touching. No touchy. Oops. A little too fast for my own britches. Okay. This is going to go out. And for now, uh, just for now, just to get it in our heads let's do a double chest that this is way overkill <laughs> a double chest i don't know how much of these drones we're actually gonna make so i have no idea this i need to get rid of let's get rid of that and let's get rid of this too so we're building this backwards and i don't even know if this is all gonna fit might be some rearranging that we're gonna do uh, okay, so the computers are in a manufacturer, and then we have the aluminum casings go into the radio control unit here. So this is something we could even just put clear back in this corner, because it just needs one constructor. Let's... Can I go up? Yeah, we're just gonna t we're just gonna tuck this right back as far as we can. Stick that in, we'll go down, and you're, you're just going to make aluminum casings. That's all you're doing. Cool. Tucked it right out of the way. Uh, and then if we look at the computer, the computer's got the biggest build, actually. We need copper sheets and wire. So I need two for copper sheets. Let's put those... Let's put it all back here. So I need, let's, yeah, let's put it here for now and then we can move it. That's copper sheets, uh, or copper ingots, two for copper sheets, two and a half. See, here we go. Uh, we got our blueprints. We're going to need one for copper sheets. We need three of these. We actually need two and a half, but it's a tight fit. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit. You know what we can do? Let's, let's swap it. This is why you just take your time building stuff out. Let's put the blueprint for the three up here a little bit. And then that's copper. It's coming in to those three, and then we can have the other two right next to it. Okay. Oops, this is backwards. I can see. You can tell how the top is pointed in one direction. You got a flat back and an angled front. That's the out direction. So I'm glad that we saw that this early. There we go. There we go. So this is going to be our wires. And these are sheets. Now for sheets, we're going to balance this all out. I'm just putting it down. It says two constructors for sheets. Um, those go into, and then we need 1.25 constructors for cables. So we're just going to stick them clear over here for cables. Now it says 1.25. That's fine. Oops, that's two. You can't, you're going to have to have multiples. And then we can do that and then pull a splitter uh, six. Nope. Part of the reason um, you've got to pay attention to what you're doing, which I'm kind of not. I've got this on straight. You hit R to make it sweepy and default. Normally, that will let you... If it's straight, it's got too many angles that the game doesn't like. So there are times 
This needs to go in here. What are you doing? Oh, it's a murder. <laughs> I need a splitter. Split. Three. There we go. Now we can stick it in there. Okay, so this is going to be cable. Cable. And then we need circuit board. So we take our copper sheets out. Which is here. We'll six merge them. We'll merge them there. That's going to go into two assemblers for circuit boards. That kind of sucks, but that is is what it is. And we're trying to keep things tight right now. So we'll put that there and that there because we need plastics will come in for that. This is circuit boards. Bang. What's my alternate recipe? Quick wire? We're not using any quick wire for this, so we'll just use standard operating procedures. And merge in. That's gonna come out. I'll we'll have to figure out a way to split that. Seven. We'll just split it right there. We'll hit three. Let's just act, let's just act like we're gonna build this. There it goes. And then this one's gonna go there. Let's right angle it. This one can go straight out. And then we'll have uh, the plastic fed from outside. We're gonna need a couple of things out here. Let's go. I don't know where this. So we got plastic coming down from up there. Let's put all the. See if we can fit it over here. Okay. And then we're also going to need plastic for one manufacturer of computer. We have that set, right? It's way back here. So that whole build is done. Cables will go into there. Now what we need for the manufacturer. Well, let's do this. For the oscillator. What else raw needs to come back here? Just the three components. Okay, it's just three components. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. We're going to move that manufacturer to right back in here because we need that space. Let's get rid of this thing. Now I said earlier, give yourself some space. This is an example of, well, we need that space for other things. Okay, and then this is going to be our crystal oscillator. This is a computer. Actually, this is all computer stuff. So let's put the computer on this side so it's all in line. And this will be the crystal oscillator because it needs some other things. It needs a circuit board. Wait. Yes. Crystal oscillator. Check. Computer. Check. This needs circuit boards, cable, and plastic. That's all going to come right out of here. Right? Cable. Cable. Let's go down to one. We'll hit six and merge it. These need to be merged as well. Okay, get the build done. All we gotta do is feed this plastic, and then plastic is also gonna. Okay, so I need uh, one constructor for rods, one for plates. Let's put those over here. Rods and plates. Set this up. Doesn't matter what side. They both just take ingots. Rods and plates. Rods goes into a screw. Makes sense. You go make screws. Now I did have an alternate recipe, but why? Why bring I uh, steel ingots up here when I don't need to? Okay, that's going into an assembler. And this is going to make reinforced 
plate. Don't want to bring up a rubber. And we'll just belt this stuff right in. There we go. Making reinforced plates. We got raw quartz crystal coming in. We can put that right here. <laughs> Maybe not right there. We can put it in right here to make crystal quartz. And we feed all of those three things. We feed it in cable. This is going to be pretty easy. We're going to feed this into here. This, same thing. Into there. There's your reinforced plates, our quartz crystal, and then cable. So we also need cable back here. So this should be our cable line. So we'll grab three. We're going to stretch it on out. Stick it back there. This is going to come... this way. Won't fit. It will fit. Feels like I need something else in there. The plastic, right? Circuit board, the plastic. And this is going to take our quartz that we're getting out of here. And then we split off back here. We'll hit seven to split off three. Come right back in here. We'll loop it in. We've already got our outputs outing. This needs to be aluminum, so we need to belt aluminum back here. Hook up the power. So what do we need? We need iron, copper, plastic, quartz, aluminum. We need five inputs. One, two, three, four. Copper, plastic, iron, yeah, we need, f we need five. So this will be interesting because I've never done this before. Let's see if we can just get it all in here. What we're going to do is do a, go to walls. We'll do a three conveyor at the bottom and we'll do two. Oh, that ain't going to work. That's fine. Uh, we'll delete this and this. We'll put the two over here. And put our walls back. I don't really like it, but that's okay. Um, so we're on this column down here. So we got three and two. They clip, so it's okay. It's not the end of the world, but it's not. Uh, well, it's not ideal for me. So we'll hit five. that one there and that is used that's okay we'll put it there and then we gotta stretch them up it's nice having these jet packs this hover hover pack it's all not gonna go all the way huh but I want you to go all the way let's let's have it go the other way then Whoops. Didn't want that to happen. Ooh, I only got one of those left? Really? Then you go get some more of those. Uh, six. We're going to have it come and point backwards. All the way up. So that when we do the next step, it should be tall enough to get here. It's as tall as it goes, so that's where it's going. And if we hit seven, uh, go to default, we should be able to go up just a step. There we go. And then we're going to repeat that process for all the things. Thing. 
things. Bit tall. Okay. It's okay. I want to go up. And then we hit seven to bring it inside. Uh, and I'm I'm a hundred percent certain that there are far better ways to do this. <laughs> Let's get inside. Um, I'm sure there's far better ways to do that. Okay, so this needs iron ingots. This needs iron ingots, so we can put in a splitter here. Let's get back to our main section. Splitter here. How long have we been recording? 35 minutes. Let's see if we can get this done real quick on this. There we go. Three. Get in there. Get in there. Quartz is going to have to come in. So let's go ahead and build this in for quartz. Of course, it's facing the wrong way. There's our quartz. Copper comes in here and here. So let's go ahead and put seven. Let's go ahead and split this off here. So that we can put all the copper in one shot. Right? Copper. Yep. It's all copper. So we can bring in... Let's do... Iron, it doesn't matter the order. It really doesn't. I try to keep it in order. Iron, quartz, copper. But we could do iron, quartz, plastic, copper. Doesn't matter. It don't matter. Let's go underneath. Start feeding materials up. Maybe that'll help us. Okay. So we have our iron, which is empty. <laughs> uh, is this a splitter? Okay, it's going that way. Well, let's grab the other splitter side, three, and carry it all the way down to R. Where's my new... Did I not put them on the floor? Oh, I did. Here they are. Uh, so let's do this. We gotta put... We gotta... Which direction are we coming? This last one is gonna be our aluminum. Quartz can come off here, so let's do. Let's split that, split that off right there. We can do quartz into there. I'm gonna need some more splitters. What do we got splitting off already? Here's our copper. We can grab copper and just have that go there. And we're gonna need uh, plastic. Here's our plastic line. Definitely gonna need plastic. Plastic can just go in anywhere we want it to. Let's put it there. So we got iron that we still need to do. Let's just build it. I know this looks so bad. I do have plans um, at some point to come back into this and re <laughs> and fix it all, make it look a little better. It's just not sexy right now Put it there and then aluminum is on the last one it's clear down here aluminum's come in let's double check aluminum ingots yup uh, so let's just belt it down Come up this way. Looking for my orange arrows. Right there, of course. Let's 
not enough space. It's all right, we'll get it. Crap, where am I? Where am I? Got lost. Three, we got this. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting bad under here. Not the Michael Jackson bad either. I got too much stuff clipped in here. Overlapping. Service is too uneven. But it's... It says it can go up, but it can't, but it's not going up. What surfaces are too uneven? That doesn't, doesn't make any sense. Conveyor belt. All right, let's come down here. <laughs> now get in. What? Surface is too uneven. I'm about to rage quit. What do you mean, surface is too uneven? It looks just like the other ones. Right? It's going up. It's going in. It's got the in. That looks fine. I wonder if it's just because... Do I have the other ones done? I think this is the last one I gotta do. Yeah. That's fine. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it the stupid long way if it's not going to let me do it my way. The problem is, now that I've done it from this side and I don't have one... Alright, we'll get it. We'll get it. It's just the process. You just gotta know where I'm going. Get rid of this and this. It's seven. We're on default. It's gonna squirrel in there. Let's see if this helps. Let's see if this does it. Ok, 
because it's going backwards. Why is it going backwards? I had it coming out. Apparently I didn't. Apparently this was backwards. That is frustrating. All right. Oh my gosh. I didn't. Hmm. This is why I'm stupid. Hey, if you've been watching this uh, and haven't raged at me, I really appreciate it uh, because I had that coming from the outside. Um, at this point, I'm just want to get it done. So we're just going to belt it into where it is now. There we go. When you come out of those chests, those storage containers, you got to be coming out the right way. I was coming out of the in port and it didn't care. So it, it said, hey, well, you, you want to put stuff in the storage box. So that's how I'm going to automatically route your belts for you. And that was not the correct way to do things. For this, I'm just going to do, um, I'm just going to do towers or poles. This should be fine. I like to, you should probably connect your poles first to make sure that you have enough connections per pole. Right, because we have to make sure that we connect all of this to actual power. And so now I should be able to connect that and this. Start seeing some yellow lines. Oops. Or some yellow poles. Oh, these are already connected, so that needs to go to that one. It's going to tighten that up, but can't. Yeah, I can. Why does none of this have power? Is this line not connected? Not connected. It's fine. So this is going to come down. This one needs to go down. Uh, nope. That one needs to connect here. Now we should have power. It's all about troubleshooting. Yep. isn't set what why is it red cable cable no power oh this one isn't connected to anything we connected there there we go there's that this one needs power Connect it back there. This needs power. Connect that. Connect, 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 connect. Okay. Everything should be set up and ready to go. Now we just have to go feed these in. Let's turn our light on. So this is our iron ingots. And we're going to hit... Uh, let's come down here. Iron ingots. Let's see if we can run it up along the wall. I know it's super tall, but I don't care. Uh, that's our quartz. Quartz goes into there. 
plastic also is going to have to come. I, at this point, I just want it done. I think, yeah, plastic needs to come all the way down. So we'll run it there. And then what do we got? Aluminum is going to go up against the wall. Copper needs to go into here. That should be it. Aluminum all the way down along the wall. I planned this on purpose. So we could just feed that right into there. Which one of these needs plastic? Circuit plastic. This one needs plastic. Uh, back here. So we're going to take our plastic and we're going to feed it right into there. But this also needs plastic and copper sheets which we did not connect completely this is wrong so we need to split this off uglyly uh, so we need seven to split this take that and run it there and we're going to take the other side <laughs> and see if we can squirrel it around somehow uh, come back around this way default it's all going to clip and I don't care okay this should all be set. We're just waiting on copper sheets. And it's stuck because we didn't connect it. Okay, there we go. It's all working now. <laughs> it's all working. Uh, it's getting its product. It's making its thing. Everything's got orange. Here we go. It's just waiting on a crystal oscillator in a computer. And if we come look at our storage bucket, we haven't made any yet. That's okay. Uh, we will. This is only making 2.5 per minute. So it's going to feed into here and we're going to have radio control units. So the next video is going to be drones how to set them up how to use them we're going to set it up i know exactly where i think we'll, we'll check it out 